This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Hurricane Matthew affected the Bahamas in many ways. Sporting facilities were not left out of the storm's wrath. And tonight, Charles Fisher takes a look at how the Queen Elizabeth Sports Center fared. In the original Thomas and Robertson Stadium suffering the most damage. Flooding still in the area. The entrance gate no match for Hurricane Matthew. National Sports Authority General Manager Lyndon Maycock explains more. The entrance to our VIP area was totally uh, blown away. Also the announcer's boat, part of the building, uh, was, was blown away as, as well. Um, the bathrooms was flooded. Uh, we had a lot of fencing around the perimeter that came down. And so we, uh, we, we, we look at it as something that, uh, a new beginning. And so we, we're going to rebuild and we're going to be bigger, better and stronger from this. The Providence Softball Association fast pitch field at Blue Hill seemed to have survived. But the same can't be said. Opposite at the slow pitch field. Twisted metal, lots of work to be done. The roofing came down. Uh, there's a, a tree that, that fell and, and one of the dugouts uh, is being damaged. Uh, but other than that, uh, a lot of floods. At our Jose Catalino start site, uh, two of the buildings was wiped away. And so uh, a lot of our furnishings in the Jose Catalino uh, storage site uh, was damaged, but we were able to salvage a, a lot of them. Back to the entrance at the Queen Elizabeth Sports Center and the Walk of Fame. Some pitches withstood the strong winds, some not so. On the floor and some missing. The pitches were saved. Uh, we're going to, 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 to use those pitches uh, and the Walk of Fame, the Legends Walk, over at the, the, the Sports Museum. And so, so persons could actually see them and, and really appreciate the uh, uh, Hall of Famers. The Bahamas is said to host many major events starting with the third edition of the Popeyes College Football Bowl in December and come next year, many on the horizon. Put it like this, we, we got pushed back, let's say a week or two, but we're moving. We're on top for Popeye Bahamas Bowl. The infield is it's, it's there today, back on, on schedule. The World Relays, still on top for April. The CYG, still on top for July. And so we, we're ready to go. Many more projects in line for the Queen Elizabeth Sports Center. So there are some good stories that will be coming out of Hurricane Matthew. For ZNS Total Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. As you would have heard, one of the events the Bahamas is preparing to host next year is the Commonwealth Youth Games. President of the Bahamas Commonwealth Games Association, Wellington Miller, was in Edmonton, Canada last week for a presentation, and Hurricane Matthew was a topic of discussion. They knew about the hurricane, and after the hurricane, they wanted they were eager to find out if there were any damage. Well, I couldn't, I could not bring them up to date on the damage in part because at the time we didn't know. But hearing about it now, I'm going down to the sports center to see what kind of damage was done on there, and we will feed that information on. It appears that most loops here in the capital escaped the fury of Hurricane Matthew, with the exception of Barbara Jay's Lady Natalie, which broke a mass. Before Matthew, sloops were gearing up for the North Eleuther Regatta, which takes place annually during the National Heroes Holiday Weekend. There was some talk about moving the regatta to another weekend, but after consultation with the relevant authorities, it has been cancelled and will return in 2017. Those sailors, was, um, they were still anxious to go. A lot of them want to go, but you know, there's some of us who had a lot of devastation in Nassau. Uh, and it's not really Harbor Island um, that is devastated, it's the people in Nassau. So the guys in Nassau now, they have to kind of regroup and get themselves back together. For those who are interested, they can still go to Berlin on the 17th of November. They, are be good. they will be doing a homecoming mm -hmm. for the 17th to the 20th. So persons who Mr. Regatta can still go to Elutra. It wouldn't be no sailing at the homecoming. They're going to so, sort of downsize it to homecoming alone. Okay. They're, they're going to still have the entertainment, the local and entertainment from Nassau and all of that. Uh, now all the boat owners now will have a chance to, you know, clean their boat up and get it ready. Maybe for the best of the best, I'm not sure. The B3A is getting out of the blocks quick with regard to recovery efforts for Hurricane Matthew. They've implemented Project Quick Relief. We are aware in Freeport and in Andrus that there are a number of persons within the Federation and indeed without who have had catastrophic losses. So um, President Kerry began an initiative um, and, and led by example by putting $500 
into um, a fund um, for relief for persons within the Federation, certainly the wider Bahamas. The intent is that the Beatrice office is going to be a collection site for specific items, water, um, clothing, and non-perishable goods that we intend to work with um, entities within country that does this kind of work to ensure that um, the um, goods are disseminated to persons in need. Washington Redskins owner Daniel Snyder and his wife Tanya have sent a plane full of supplies to the Bahamas following the passage of Hurricane Matthew. The supplies included batteries, bottled water, and pallets of other non-perishable food items. The Bahamas Ministry of Tourism and the NFL team signed an agreement earlier this year. New Providence Softball Association has been forced to cut its postseason schedule short. The first round is now a best of three, and the championships will be a best of five. With the lights needing to be adjusted, the games will also be played during the day. This Saturday, action starts 11 a.m. with the Sunshine Auto Wildcats and Bomber G operators. At 1 p.m., the Commando Security Truckers will take on the BTC Elite Warriors. The 3 o'clock game has the Lady Truckers and the Lady Stingers. Meantime, at 5, the CNS Hitmen, they play the Chances Mighty Mets. On Sunday, action starts 1 p.m., the Lady Truckers taking on the Lady Stingers. That's followed at 2.30 by the Wildcats and operators. At 4, the Truckers play the Warriors, while at 5.30, it's the Hitmen and Mighty Mets. The championship series will be played next weekend. From the NBA, Buddy Heal and the New Orleans Pelicans playing two preseason games against the Houston Rockets in China. The finale took place this morning with the Pelicans going down 116-104. Buddy came off the bench with scoreless with two assists, three rebounds and a steal. As for the opening game on Sunday, the Pelicans also going down 123-117. Buddy much more productive, scoring 14 points. Buddy and the Pelicans will be back on the floor next Tuesday in Atlanta against the Hawks. And that is it for sports. Stay tuned to check on weather still to come.